All right. Welcome back, everyone. Ready for another deep dive. Let's do it. So get this. Today, we're looking at uh, peace and responsibility. Okay, okay. And and hear me out. We're taking cues from, well, Superman. Superman, huh? Yeah. Superman the fourth. The quest for peace, to be exact. Interesting. Yeah. We've got this article, uh, A Quest for Peace, Lessons from Superman for a Fragile World. Okay. And it's seriously thought provoking. Like, who knew a superhero flick could get so deep? I mean, they often deal with pretty big themes, right? True, true. But this one, it really digs into like what it means for us, you know, to create a more peaceful world. Yeah. Not just like the Man of Steel, you know? Yeah, you're right. So the article starts off talking about how the film, well, it came out smack dab in the middle of the Cold War. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a. Uh... Talk about a time when peace felt. Huh? pretty fragile for sure everyone was on edge that whole nuclear threat looming over everything exactly and that's what makes it so interesting like in the movie superman decides to just get rid of all the nuclear weapons wow takes matters into his own hands huh yeah like problem solved you know but it makes you think right like what's our responsibility here well yeah if superman can just swoop in and fix it what does that say about us and then there's this quote from superman in the film that really stuck with me Hmm. what is it he says uh there will be peace when the people of the world want it so badly that their governments will have no choice but to give it to them. Okay. And I'm like, wait, is peace something that can even be given? Right. That's the question, isn't it? Yeah. Like, does it have to come from somewhere deeper, you know? I think the film is trying to get at that very idea. Like, even Superman, this all-powerful being, realizes yeah. he can't force peace on humanity. It's got to be a choice. Exactly. It has to come from within us. And then the article talks about Superman's speech at the United Nations. Oh, yeah, I remember that. He's talking about his fear of, like, the world just stumbling into nuclear war. Which, back then, I mean, it was a real possibility, right? Totally, but doesn't it still resonate today? Oh, absolutely. Even if the context is different, like, are we still stumbling towards chaos? Hmm. I think that's something we all need to ask ourselves, for sure. And what I find so powerful is that, like, here's Superman. He's got all this power. Right. But even he's acknowledging there are limits. Can't just fix everything with brute force. Exactly. He can't single-handedly create peace. It's something we have to figure out. And that's a really powerful message, I think. Right. It's not about waiting for a superhero. It's about each of us playing our part. Right. Taking responsibility. Yeah. And the article talks about this idea of peace as a like a shared effort. Mm -hmm. It's about understanding each other. Empathy, dialogue. Yeah, all that, even when it's hard. Especially when it's hard. Exactly, and then it brings up this amazing visual from the film. Oh, yeah. Remember when Superman's looking down at Earth from space? Hmm. Can't say I remember the specifics. Well, he sees the world as, like, this small and fragile thing, <laughs> and the article is saying, like, that's how we need to start seeing it. That perspective shift, huh? Yeah, like from up there, all our petty squabbles, they just seem, well, petty. Like and it makes you feel this sense of, like, unity, you know? Yeah, we're all in this together. Exactly. Not this one little planet. So how do we move forward with that in mind? Well, that's the million-dollar question, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it makes you realize how small our problems really are in the grand scheme of things. Right. But uh, the article doesn't just leave us hanging with that image of Earth from space. Oh, good. It also talks about, well, hope. Okay. In fact, it ends with this line, uh, as long as there's life on this planet, there's hope. I think it's a nice thought. Yeah, and it made me think, like, why is hope so important when we're talking about peace? Well, I think it's because hope is what motivates us. Yeah. You know? It gives us that push to keep working towards a better world. Even when things seem kind of bleak. Especially then, I think. Without hope, it's easy to just give up, right? Yeah, to fall into cynicism or apathy. But with hope, we can keep striving for something better. Exactly. That in the film, it uses Superman as this example, right? Like, he never gives up hope, even when he's facing setbacks. He always believes in humanity's potential for good. Right. And that's a pretty powerful message for us, I think. It is. It's a reminder that we can all make a difference. We don't have to be superheroes. But every little bit counts, right? Absolutely. Every act of kindness, every attempt to understand someone different from us, it all adds up. It's like those ripples in a pond. They spread out further than we realize. Yeah, and eventually they reach the other side. So before we wrap up this deep dive into Superman and the quest for peace, maybe we should recap some of the key takeaways. Sounds good to me. 
Okay, so we've learned that peace, it's not just something for governments to handle. Right. It's everyone's responsibility. It starts with each of us choosing understanding, building empathy. Having those tough conversations. Yeah, even when it's uncomfortable. Exactly. And then we can't forget, even Superman, with all his power, he can't just force peace on us. It has to come from within. It's about our choices, our actions. Our willingness to work together. And that leads us to our final takeaway, right? Hope. Hope is that driving force that pushes us towards positive change. If Superman can believe in humanity's potential to find peace, shouldn't we? That's a great point and a good question to leave our listeners with, I think. Yeah, what can each of us do, no matter how small, to create a more peaceful world? That's something to think about. It is. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive. It's been a pleasure. Until next time, keep exploring, keep questioning, and never lose hope. Yeah, it really makes you think like, wow, if Superman is putting his faith in us, right. maybe we should too. I think so. And it, it brings up this other point the article made about power, you know? Okay. We tend to think like if we just had enough power, we could solve all the problems. Right. Like if only we had more control. Exactly. But Superman, I think, shows us that's not necessarily true. Yeah. It's not just about brute force. No, it's, it's more about like inner strength, I guess. Yeah, that inner commitment to peace. And the article really emphasizes that, like, you can't just force peace on people. Mm -hmm. It has to be a choice. It has to come from, like, a place of understanding, yeah. right? Yeah, empathy, dialogue, all of that. And a willingness to, I guess, like, work together even when it's tough. Absolutely. It's about finding common ground, building a future where everyone feels safe. So it's not about dominating others or anything like that? No, it's about recognizing that we all have a role to play. And those roles, they might look different for everyone. Exactly. Maybe it's speaking out against injustice or reaching out to someone different from you. Or just being kind in your everyday life. Yeah, all those little things, they add up. They do, they create a ripple effect. And that brings us back to hope, doesn't it? It does. Because it's that hope that fuels those actions, those small acts of courage and compassion. It's what keeps us going when things feel difficult. It's like the fuel for positive change. Exactly. And in a way, Superman embodies that hope, doesn't he? Yeah, he never gives up on us, even when we might give up on ourselves. So that's something to think about, right? It is. It's like, if Superman believes in humanity's potential for peace. Then maybe, just maybe, we should too. Well, on that note, it seems we've reached the end of our deep dive. Wow, the time flew by. I know, right? We covered a lot. <sighs> From Cold War anxieties to Superman looking down at Earth. And everything in between. And the surprising lessons we can learn from a superhero film. Who do? But the biggest takeaway, I think, is that we all have the power to create a more peaceful world. It starts with each of us. Making the choice to act with compassion, understanding, and, of course, hope. And never forgetting that even Superman believes in our potential to find peace. So until next time, keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep that hope alive.